Both and these he, guys are like the coolest people in the world. So, so are I you, mean, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dylan Nicholas. I'm from Williamstown, West Virginia, and this was the Simple Walk in the Mordor panel and into RTX. I thought it was a great panel. I mean, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. I love The Hobbit, love the Lord of the Rings books, movies, everything. And the fact that they did the walk was just absolutely crazy and what they went through their experiences and everything like that I just I just enjoyed them talking about it so in one of the episodes Chris you uh, showed a snippet of you video chatting your mom and telling she's her actually, what you were doing uh -huh. how did she react uh, when she saw what you had done in the footage of well, she, we were she's walking? here you want to yeah sure I'll hey, ask her on. how was it I didn't realize they had walked the entire walk till he was back home <laughs> I, I thought they had given up or mm -hmm. You know, so I was really amazed and impressed. And on a totally unrelated note, my parents were right there. Too. Yeah. They should stand up. You stand up. 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 Panel went really great. All of our fans are really awesome. Yeah, and we also showed off Nick's toenail. We brought that to the panel. That was the fourth guest, which is, I think, in my pocket in a medicine. So that's, that's Nick's toenail that fell off. Yesterday, we walked for 14 hours and only covered 34 kilometers. Today, we have to walk at least 42. If we can't do this, we won't be able to reach the mountain in time for our return flight home. I just want to say that it's, I thought that a walk, a simple walk into mortar was one of my favorite RT series. And um, thank you. I was just curious as to uh, what was the most dangerous point on the uh, trip? In terms of dangerous, like when we almost got caught, if we had gotten kicked off that property, uh, that would have completely screwed us for the entire trip like we wouldn't be able to make it it was one of the things we were kind of in the middle of the property at that point yeah so it was either if he had taken us back to the beginning of his property then we wouldn't have been able to finish but if he had been like you need to get off my land and taking us to the end of the property then we wouldn't have walked were there periods where you just like all three of you were just didn't want to say anything anymore and just walked for like an hour uh yeah there's more than an hour yeah i mean more we we had every conversation possible and then a couple more. The panel was great because we got the chance to talk about a lot of things that weren't on camera. Uh, a lot of the stories, I mean, a lot of times it was dark. We didn't get the chance to film. The cameras weren't rolling or the cops were there. Yeah the, yeah, the times where the cops showed up. I know that uh, you guys did a lot of camping on the side of the road. And I know that if you do that here in the States, the cops do not like that. Did you guys ever run into any problems like that when you were there? Did cops come and wake you up? Uh, yeah, we have a, a weird story. That hard to explain. It's hard to explain because... To quickly answer your question, they never woke us up. We were lucky in that. Are you just tough enough that you can walk on glass with your feet now? Like, no. is just standing no yeah. problem? No, shoes are great. <laughs> yeah, um, we highly recommend them. After you, like, finish everything, bury the ring, and, like, you're finished and going back home, going all the way to mortar, the ultimate thing, how'd you feel? Really good. I mean, yeah. I mean, the first thing we felt was sleep. <laughs> um, and then we felt more sleep. And no, then we it, felt swollen. I mean, it's one of those things we got in the car and I look over and carries to sleep. I still can't believe we did it. Like, it sounds really dumb, but I still can't believe we actually did it. 